Stem cell technology is breaking through the frontiers of medical science and researchers now hope to develop a one-off treatment for Parkinson's disease. The technique, being tested in animal trials, has increased the survival of transplanted cells and restored movement. Ros Cassidy has been living with Parkinson's disease for 15 years. The 68-year-old says simple things such as walking, talking, even eating becomes difficult. It's slowing me right down and I, I find I can't do as much as I used to and it's very frustrating. In Parkinson's, dopamine producing cells in the brain slowly die. The use of medications long term becomes unreliable, so Roz resorted to invasive surgery called deep brain stimulation. Which helped me enormously because I, then I could cut down my medication. Neuroscientists and biomedical engineers are working on making stem cell transplants an effective treatment. Trying to develop a stem cell therapy that can restore the dopamine levels in the brain in a regulated manner. They've developed a new hydrogel made from natural amino acids that helps improve the survival and function of stem cells. During administration through a really fine needle, the cells can experience a lot of shear stress and the hydrogel actually protects the administered cells from shear. The genetically reprogrammed adult stem cells are put into the liquid gel. After it's transplanted into the brain, it turns into a jelly form, releasing growth factor proteins so the stem cells can do their job and produce dopamine. Animal trials have shown it works. They have um, deficits in their movement and we can restore those functions through these stem cell grafts that are supported by the hydrogels. A stem cell treatment like this is really a game changer for people. Clinical trials could start within five years. Researchers are also exploring this technology for use in stroke or to repair damaged cartilage. Gabriella Rogers, 9.